I'm going to show you how to connect a laptop, netbook or PC to a TV um, with just a VGA output, no HDMI. HDMI to HDMI is pretty simple. Now you can buy cables that uh, have VGA at one end and HDMI at the other and if you use that you will get absolutely nothing. What you need is an adapter. That's a VGA to HDMI adapter and I managed to pick this one up on eBay for under £10, around $15. It's got a VGA socket, USB, that's for power, and the HDMI adapter. All I have to do is connect these things up to the PC. Yeah, do it the right way around makes it easier. And as you can see, the little converter adapter is lit. A little blue spot over there. Now all I have to do is connect my uh, HDMI cable now when I first did this I got good video but no audio puzzled for a while I, I decided to run this lovely little program called Driver Booster 2 now this was recommended uh, quite a while ago in Computer Active magazine and it's got no bloatware and it's got no uh, malware and all it does is once you run the program it's free as well which helps all it does is run through your PC and look for any drivers that need to update or drivers that are not installed now you don't have to update them but for this one it found uh, that it didn't have the uh, drivers installed for headphones so there was no sound so I let it run five minutes it found it installed it and uh, I had sound as well as video now let me see I'll try and play a YouTube video I'm going to the internet Click this message off. It's an old netbook. Seems to take its time. Or maybe I didn't press it properly. One of the two. Yeah, I think it's the latter one. I didn't click on it. So I'll play the first video that comes along and uh, I'll go into YouTube now. Sorry to take up your time. Right. Let's see what this is. And I'll now point my camera at my television so you can see. So you've got perfect video and perfect sound and just installing this little gizmo is about the simplest thing you can do. But make sure if you don't have sound, try and look up uh, Driver Booster or any other software that you can find which uh, automatically looks for drivers and you'll be off. 